Today, we're going to write 1,000 words in 10 minutes with AI SEO. And when I picked this tool up, I was having all kinds of problems. I use Linguix, and at the top, you'll see that now they've added this disclaimer. If you turn off Linguix, the tool actually works. So I'm actually going to disable this on AI SEO. And we're going to come down here to the long form assistant and get started. Now, I absolutely love what AI SEO is trying to do here. We'll see how it holds up with the execution. I'm going to get started today with the long form assistant and we're going to go with the blog post workflow. We're going to keep with our same topic as yesterday. I could enter in a particular city or area if I'm writing about like best pizza places. However, today we'll just keep it to the United States. I'll just go with personalized marketing for my title and then let's go ahead and create a new SEO document. So I'm going to jump onto Google. I'm going to Google personalized marketing for the meta description. We'll paste it in right there. For our keywords, we'll go with personalization, personalized marketing marketing, hyper personalization for our title. Now we should be able to generate some titles. It's going to bring up the magic is taking place and it's going to give us our titles down here. How to get started with personalization, seven ways. So I think of these title choices, the best is going to be how to get started with personalization and marketing or how to add personalization to your marketing strategy. So let's go ahead and select the how to add personalization to your marketing strategy. I don't really like the animations in between. I will say this tool is a little bit slower than some of the other AI writers. However, what it's actually doing is far more advanced. So bear with it, it's writing for you. And here is our introduction paragraphs. Personalized advertising is one of the hottest marketing trends, but the way it's been traditionally executed isn't ideal. I like this one a lot better. It's an emerging marketing strategy that is turning traditional one-way marketing communications on their head by making audiences feel as if they're the primary recipients of the message. For years, people have been told that the customer is always right. Marketing's used big data to take the claim quite literally. The practice of using analytics to make advertising messages and right, So that kind of, that seems to repeat itself. I think we're going to go with this one here. It's an emerging marketing strategy. So once we've selected this, we can jump into the editor. And every time I'm writing, by the way, and clicking these different things for the titles, and intros and now we're getting into the editor it's taking my credits so i only get 200 and something a month and this tool is only 49 dollars right now through AppSumo. however it's quite easy to blow through these credits how to add personalization to your marketing strategy so here's our intro paragraph now over to the right we're going to see overview outline questions serp sections nlp terms serp facts templates and a public library as well as our description and brief. Or down here, we can write with AI at any time. Heading amounts, our word counts, as well as a readability. 15th grade is gonna be way too complex. Now I'm gonna jump into the outline. And to do that, I first need to extract the SERP data from the SERP section. So we'll come here and we'll extract the SERP data. And what that's gonna do is look at some of the top results. I think it probably looks at the top 10 or so results on Google. Something like phrase is gonna look at your top 20. Phrase is a much more refined and better overall experience than AI SEO. However, it does come at a significantly higher price. And here is our data. And what we'll see is MailChimp. They're giving us the H1 tag. So it appears that that's either all that there is for MailChimp or it missed something there. Now I can click next at the top and go on to the immersis.com website, number two, 1600 words. This is giving me all the H1, H2, H3 tags and onward. And then I can go to the next one, almost 1900 words. It's giving me the different tags. And at any time, if I wanted to come to outline, I can select the outline and I can look at all of this data here from the different search results. So all of these different articles, I can read through the H tags quickly and I'm gonna select some of these. So the first thing that I think we probably wanna do is define what personalized marketing is. Now up here at the top, we'll see that the second result was what is marketing personalization? And then we'll add in some benefits, how to create a strategy, common marketing questions, challenges of personalized marketing. So now we've got what it is, the benefits, the challenges, how to create a strategy and common questions. That's five headers. I think that works well enough. Let's jump into the editor. And from here, I could insert a particular one if I wanted to by clicking the copy button. Now I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. Now I don't see where we have different types of H tags from H1, H2, H3. So I think that's a little bit bizarre. So here I'm just gonna click AI draft and I'm gonna write a new AI content based on these search engine results. It's based on the outline that I have created. So once I generate this draft, what we'll see is to the left, it is thinking down at the bottom and it will start writing here with a suggested 12th grade 
readability level. So we're going to have to keep that in mind. And just in a matter of minutes, we'll see that we have 300 words, suggested 1800 to 2000 words. So we're writing 1000 here. And it keeps writing, by the way, as I talk, I'm not doing anything. And we're up to 456 words, 578 words. And I said we're going to write a thousand words in under 10 minutes today. We're at 700 words just through the outline with AI SEO. And here we'll see if the content's any good. What is personalized marketing? It's a marketing technique that uses an individual's personal details, such as interest, age, location, and other information to serve up a relevant message. So that is as good as BrainWorks definition was it is what it is. Now it also adds, how does it work? It uses marketing automation, targeting, personalization to create a more engaging experience. I actually like that a lot. So how does it work? How can you personalize your marketing? You can do a few simple things. Start as using your company's name and the email might have. All right. So it missed the mark a little bit right here. I'm going to delete that out and I'm going to click the right with AI button and it has keyword shortcut. So here we'll see personalization is an effective marketing tool for businesses of all sizes. It can be used to make marketing messages feel more relevant to a particular audience and help you create more brand loyalty. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete out. We're going to do some cleanup here. So I have now added all of these and we're saying personalization way too much. So I've rewritten this very briefly. Now what I'll notice, the writing experience, I don't know what exactly it is. Something's a little off with it. So this is a great way to get started, but the actual writing, the delete button's not working. I'm having a couple of problems with the formatting. Maybe it's just a learning curve here. Now up at the top, I can go to dark mode if I prefer. And I definitely always prefer dark mode. I'll leave it light mode just for this video. Which do you prefer down below? So at this point, we have our outline. What is personalized marketing? The benefits. And then under the benefits, we can have some additional tags. Now we'll see that it only wrote a little bit for us. So for the increased brand loyalty, it's a block-based system, by the way. So like I can't highlight a particular, I can't highlight just the brand there. It takes the increased brand loyalty. I don't know if that makes any sense. This is a block-based system. And we'll see if it actually sticks on topic with reducing the churn. Hopefully it will. There it is. It actually did it perfectly. And it looks like it added more numbers and more sentences. Personalization can reduce the chances of a customer leaving your business. A study of Digital Marketing Association. I'm going to just open up our McKinsey article that we cited yesterday. And I'm going to copy this same stat that we used yesterday, showing just how many people expect personalized marketing to work. And instead of this sentence here, I'm going to paste in that McKinsey and I'm going to highlight it and we're going to rewrite and I'm going to add a sentence for context and we're going to link out. So now we have some benefits. It's five benefits. Now this didn't give me a listicle style as Brainwork did, but this just kind of assumed that that would be the best answer for the benefits of personalized marketing. Now the challenges, opportunities for growth. So we're going to delete that. Personalization is a powerful customer engagement tool. It comes with a few challenges. First, it requires a different approach to marketing. Companies must be open to testing new approaches and modifying their marketing plans as needed. So this here feels a bit redundant. This time I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to click right with AI and we'll see if it does any better. Here it is. How to meet the challenges. Four steps. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to change this. Here are a few steps to overcome the challenges. And then we'll add a third step here. I wish they had a built-in grammar checker because my, my spelling is horrible and they took away the linguics. So that's a frustration point. And then that's going to transition perfectly into how to create a successful personalized marketing strategy. Uh, understand your customers to determine their point of view, understand your competitors. We're going to delete that one. I don't, and I think that's pretty much perfect there. Common personalized marketing questions. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And then under common questions, I'm going to come to the questions tab and generate some questions. And from these questions, it's not actually generating anything. That's not good. Maybe our topic's too specific. So it's not generating any questions. So let's do NLP terms. Let's extract some NLP keywords. Now from the NLP keywords, we'll see that we need to use marketing, typically used 36 times. How is, I've definitely used that word marketing. Right there I used it. So it's telling me that I haven't used it. Not exactly sure. Now they do have the SERP facts. So let's come in here and let's go with how do you scale personalized marketing and generate some facts? I don't think it really gave us uh, the information that we need there. Now I clicked to write for me and right here we'll see how do you scale it. So that'll be one question. Let's go through and add like maybe three or four. So at this point, I am pretty much done. I do think that I need to fact check a couple of things like this study here. I don't know if that's 100% true. 
However, I've seen that several times now. And when we're throwing around numbers with GPT-3, you always want to fact check. Now, this is an article, Seven Benefits of Personalized Marketing Content. What we'll see is the benefits are conversion, understanding customers, engagement, feedback, social sharing, lead nurturing, customer retention, higher revenue. So here I've given a little bit of that under the benefits. I've done brand loyalty, churn, sales, enhanced SEO. Instead of SEO, I want to change that to social sharing. So this is the ways that I'm going to be customizing this article, personalizing it to my own liking and use case. All in all, this tool is decent. Now for these NLP terms, it is actually using it now. It's actually working. I've used marketing 38 times, personalization seven. So I clearly need to come back in with personalization more. I've used customer way too many times. AI SEO is going to ultimately be a better overall experience than about every other tool that I've looked at with the exception of Phrase. Now, Phrase does have the AI writing assistant. It's a subscription. I don't pay for it. AI SEO is just $49 on the lifetime deal. Now, these are incentivized reviews, and it actually annoyed me a lot when I first picked this tool up because I can now actually give it a five taco, uh, but these are incentivized. One deal bought 14, one deal, one deal. Like what they're doing here, I'm not going to say is the 100% most ethical thing in the world. I don't know exactly what they're doing, so I won't like throw any shade. Uh, and by saying that, I guess I am throwing a little bit. What I will say is this tool at $49 is a pretty good overall way to write better SEO content using artificial intelligence. Now, I do worry, is this tool a little bit better marketing than actual execution? Only time will tell with that. I will say that they're trying to do Jarvis-like long-form assistance, word tune-like rewrites, and then obviously they're also trying to borrow from Hemingway editors and Phrase. So this is literally trying to do it all for just that $49 lifetime deal. Now you do only get 25,000 words, which isn't many. And just doing this article were pretty much used like a ton. You're only going to be able to write a handful of articles a month with this tool, but you can come down to the lifetime deal add-on you can get it unlimited for $19 a month, which is a fair value. Now under rewards, this is what I mean by incentivized reviews. I can get 50 monthly credits lifetime for an AppSumo review. I can get 100 credits for G2. I can get 75 for a custom template shared in a public library. We'll have to look into some of this in another video, perhaps. There's a lot to digest here with AI SEO. And today we just looked at the long form assistant. Uh, we also have copywriting templates, blog post generators, but I'll be making a separate video on the article generator or the content paraphraser because the paraphraser is something that I'm very interested in. Can it truly generate 50,000 characters of high quality content. I don't see inside the long form editor where it's checking for plagiarism. So this is something that is built into Braymark. I don't think it's built into AI SEO yet. I'm not exactly sure. Don't quote me on that. $49 on the lifetime deal. I think it's probably worth it. I'm definitely going to be keeping it, testing it out. However, I'm blowing through these credits very quick. So give this video a like if it brought you any value. My name is Scott with AI Profits and we'll see you in the next one.